make an announcement. The library this week will be closed on... <laughs> Class, class. All right, Theodore. You've succeeded in disrupting the entire class. Now, may we have your cooperation? Oh, yes, sir. Well, we're waiting. Oh. Theodore, that isn't what I meant. Will you please stand? Yes, sir. Now, take it off. What? Well, that ridiculous sweater or whatever it is you call it. Take it off so that we can resume our studies. Yes, sir. But I don't think you'd want me to do that. Why not? Because I got nothing under but me. <laughs> All right, Theodore. Just take yourself down to the principal's office. Yes, sir, but... Without any further discussion. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, Jen. Ward, I was just leaving the house when I got a phone call from the principal's office of Beaver School. Yes. Well, they want one of us to come down there and talk to them as soon as we can. Well, do you have any idea what it's all about? No, but it must be serious. They were so insistent. Uh, well, I have a luncheon date, but uh, I guess I can skip it and stop by the school. I certainly would appreciate it. Ward? You think Beaver's gotten into any serious trouble? Oh, dear, I wouldn't know. But they don't usually call you down to the principal's office to tell you your boys made the honor roll. <laughs> well, anyway, you go ahead and have a good time. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Thanks, dear. Do other people's children get in trouble like this, too? Ah, uh, cheer up, June. They didn't put that long bench outside the principal's office just for us. <laughs> Goodbye, dear. Yes? Oh, have him come in, Miss Ryan. Then send the cleaver boy in. Mrs. Rayburn? How do you do, Mr. Cleaver? We dislike putting parents to this trouble, but sometimes it becomes necessary. Sit down, please. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I uh, understand Beaver has broken some sort of rule. Mr. Cleaver, did you approve of the way your son looked when he left for school this morning? Well, yes, as I recall, he looked all right to me. Come in, Theodore. <laughs> Beaver! Hi, dear. Mrs. Rayburn, I assure you, we had no intention of Beaver coming to school looking like this. Well, I wouldn't think so. Beaver, didn't I tell you to put on a shirt this morning? Yes, sir. I put on a shirt. Well, then how did you manage to get to school looking like this? Well, I took the shirt off, and I guess this is underneath. <laughs> Mr. Cleaver, you must be aware of the school's position. This manner of dress only tends to detract from the reason why we're here, to get an education. Theodore, I imagine when you entered the classroom in that apparel, there was quite a bit of tittering among the other students. Yeah, the guys tittered pretty good. <laughs> Theodore, what do you think it would be like if everyone in the school wore something like that? I guess it'd be kind of gruesome. I think it would be pretty gruesome, and I don't think we'd get very much work done. Yes, well, Mrs. Rayburn, I'm very sorry this happened, and I assure you it won't happen again. I'm sure it won't. Thank you for coming in, Mr. Cleaver. Not at all. Theodore, you have plenty of time to go home, change your clothes, and be back for your afternoon classes. Yes, Mrs. Rayburn. By the way, just what is that on the front of your shirt? <laughs> oh, it's just a regular Martian with three eyeballs. 